Hey, yo, what is up, Thrill Seekers? Today, I am here for another Construction Tuesday. Um, might be wondering why I'm just chilling out in the parking lot. Um, that's because this is where the track pieces are for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. Um, if you're ever curious, um, just park. Kind of on the far side over here, here is uh, the water park right here. And just over here are some of the track pieces for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. So let's go take a look real quick. And here you go. As you can see, here are some track pieces for Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. We can see this right here is what, how it's named a dive coaster. Um, there's going to be a chain that goes right here called a hold chain. Um, and this is where the ride is going to hold you down that first drop for a couple seconds before dropping you down at 95 degrees. Um, you can see over this way, this track piece right here, that is going to be the first section of the lift hill from the looks of it. Um, and then that section right behind it seems to be the leveling out of the lift hill right there. Um, we just have some chill brake run pieces right here. Um, you can tell because they have, they're straight um, and they have uh, friction and magnetic brakes on those. Um, and that's really it. So we have a whole bunch of pieces of steel um, I'm assuming, I was gonna see if we had any supports. Oh, well, here's some more track pieces down this way. Uh, you go over here, hello. Um, yeah, we just have some turn pieces. I'm assuming, yeah. Um, from the looks of it, most of the track pieces that are in right now are for the brake run, station, and lift hill. Um, those are going to be the, the things that they are going to build first. Uh, they build the station first. The lift hill has to go up in a day. The reason why is because um, the lift gets its structure. It gets its structural integrity from the other lift hill pieces, if that makes sense. So um, they have to put it all up in a day so that it is nice and rigid, right? Because one, there's like one support at the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top. So there are some track pieces that do not have supports on them. And if you just put those up, then the ride would fall over in the night. So they have to put all of the lift hill up in basically one piece, um, from my knowledge at least. You can see these fins right there. Those are magnetic brakes. Um, they work by causing an eddy current as the train goes by. Um, this is the smoothest types of brakes. That's what Iron Rattler uses. They don't use those fins. They use a different type, but um, very similar design. But anyways, there you go. Dr. Diabolical's Cliffhanger. Um, in terms of the actual ride site, looks basically the exact same. I can show you in a quick clip, but yeah, let's, let's play that right now. Hey yo, before I show you guys Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger in that construction site, this is the progress on the construction site here at the front. There used to be a whole bunch of ticket booths here. They stopped using them a while ago, but they were kind of just chilling. So they're gonna be renovating this whole area to be a super nice entrance plaza for the 30th anniversary here at Fiesta. Anyways, heading in. And here at the Dr. Diabolical's construction site is a really sad site. Totally kicking chicken is now closed in preparation for construction to go vertical here at Dr. Diabolical's cliffhanger. You can see the construction site right over here. Nothing really, anything has happened. So yeah, now back to past me for, uh, for more track pieces. But yeah, as you can see, it looks basically the same. So just for something different, wanted to show you guys the track pieces. So if you ever come here to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, take a quick detour, park real quick, come over and take a look. Maybe on your way out, maybe on your way in. Either way, it's kind of a kind of a cool thing. And I'll definitely keep coming back because um, it seems like they just have this huge plot of land designated for these track pieces. So you know that they're expected more shipments very soon anyways for that i'll see you guys all next time peace out